In this video, I'll be adjusting the valves on a 2009 Honda Civic with 155,000 miles on it. Valves wear into slightly different patterns over the years. This causes valves to either loosen, get noisy, or tighten. This causes drivability issues. Not all vehicles need a valve adjustment, but most Honda Civics do. The intake valves are set at seven to nine thousandths, and the exhaust valves are set at nine to eleven thousandths when the engine is cold. The firing order is one, three, four, two. So I'll adjust the valves in this order. If this doesn't make sense, it will once you watch the video. If you don't know how to remove a valve cover, watch my video here. I'll link it in the description also. Let's get started. I'll be using my ratchet with a 24 millimeter socket on it to rotate my engine using the alternator. I already removed the spark plugs. This is why I'm able to spin the motor over using the alternator nut. As the camshaft comes around, look for the word up. This will indicate top dead center on cylinder number one. The mark on the right side of the cam gear lines up with the opening on the head. Use a feeler gauge to line the cam gear mark up with the head as shown here. Now let's adjust the valves. The specification is nine to 11 thousandths. My 9 thousandths gauge slides in both the exhaust valves on number one easily, so they're not too tight. The 11 thousandths gauge on the first valve doesn't seem to go in. So I'm gonna call this one adjusted properly. The 11 thousandths gauge on the second one seems to slide right in. Let's try a 12 thousandths. This one actually slides right in too. So let's adjust this valve. This is the tool I'll be using to adjust the valves. I got this off Amazon. It appears to work pretty darn good. Um, I would recommend it. So I'll put the link in the description. I'm gonna loosen the nut, tighten the screw, and then tighten the nut. So now let's recheck our valves. The 12,000th gauge that went in before does not even think about going in now. The 11,000th gauge, that seems to slide in now. Number one exhaust valves look good. Now adjust the intake valves. I won't be showing you this, you're on your own, but the clearance is seven to nine thousandths for the intake. Once they're adjusted, continue to the next set of valves, which is number three in the firing order. Turn the crank to the next set of valves. Number three is coming around. Use a feeler gauge to line the mark up with the head as shown here. And now we got to do number three. So that's a 12 that went in. So that's a little loose. And that's a 12 that slid right in. And that's a little loose. So both of those need adjustment. Now let's adjust number three. Let's put our tool on. Let's put our screwdriver on the valve. Loosen it. <clears throat> and then we're gonna move the screwdriver. Move that, and then we're gonna tighten it. We're gonna go to the other valve. Same thing, screwdriver in the slot. Loosen it, tighten it just a little bit. The 11. Okay. 
just barely. And the 11 on this one, just barely. So I'm gonna call those good. Now adjust the intake valves. I won't be showing you this, you're on your own. But the clearance is seven to nine thousandths for the intake. Once they're adjusted, continue to the next set of valves. Next up, let's adjust the valves on number four. Want to line that up. There it is, lined up, ready to go. So number 12 goes right in. Let's move this out of the way. And on this one, 12 also slips right in. So let's adjust these valves. Screwdrivers in, loosen, need to tighten this one a little bit. Tighten the valve, same thing on this one. There you go. This one just needs a little bit of tighten. All right. Let's make sure 12 doesn't go in. Uh, nope. And remember the specs nine to 11, so 10 would be perfect. And there it is, 10. So we'll leave that and that. Now adjust the intake valves. I won't be showing you this, you're on your own, but the clearance is seven to nine thousandths for the intake. Once they're adjusted, continue to the next set of valves. Next up, let's adjust valve number two. Things seem to be going a little bit quicker and smoother now. You kind of get the flow of it. All lined up. And on this one, this one slides right in. And on this one, oh, it slides in. So we need to adjust that. This one needs to be adjusted a little bit more. So we're gonna loosen it. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. Let the screwdriver move. Tighten it down. Come over to this one. Loosen it. This one just needs to tighten just a hair. We'll tighten that. This one's perfect. Let's see if 10 goes in now. Yep. 10's perfect. Once I do my initial adjustment on all four cylinders, I'll spin the crankshaft three times and recheck it. Then I'll readjust my clearances. I'll do this a third time and make sure it's perfect. Okay, I spun the motor over a couple times and now I'm gonna recheck everything. I wanted to show you what a perfect valve adjustment looks like. The spec on here is nine to 11. So I would prefer it to be right about 10 or 11. I don't want them too tight. So I'm gonna put a 10 in, 10 slides in, nice. Over here, 10. 10 slides in nice. Let's 
I'm gonna go to 11. Here's that 11. It'll slide in, but it's, it's a little bit tight. 11 slides in, but uh, it's a little tight. And then 12. 12 does not even think about going in. And 12 once again there. Doesn't think about going in, but yet our number 10, right in, nice. Just a slight bit of drag. That's a perfect valve adjustment. I did that to every valve. At 155,000 miles, these valves were only slightly out of adjustment and not enough to cause any issues. None of these were tight. Tight valves cause more damage to your engine than loose valves. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.